Hey guys, it's Jerome Jr. In this week's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Besson Power Subwoofer Model SW65D. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a review. I'm going to start out by showing what comes in the box. We're going to open it up. And then I'm going to go into the review and uh, listen to the subwoofer for a while and give you my final thoughts and even show a little demo. Um, so let's jump right into it and let me open this up. Uh, so this is pretty cool. It does, when you open the box, come with the setup guide to get presented of, and then inside of that, in the Ziploc, it does have optical cables and some coaxial cables, so it gives you all the connections you need. That's great. And then there is another box next to it, and what that got inside of it is the actual power cable or power adapter for you to actually plug this up up. Um, so with that being said, let me switch back over to my other camera and let's pull this thing out. Let me move everything out the way. And I'm just gonna flip it over. Set this box over on this side here on the ground. And let's pull this thing out. Get our first takes on how it looks. Alright guys, and here it is. Alright guys, let me go over some of the specs now that it's out the box. Um, the driver, the subwoofer itself, is a six and a half inch subwoofer. Alright, um, if you're wondering the frequency response, it hits as low as 40 hertz all the way up to 250 hertz. Um, the amplifier that is built in, it is a 60 watt amp. Um, and is able to push out 50 watts RMS. So the sub is not bad considering the driver size as far as how much power it can actually output. Now the finish that they're stating that this is finishing is, is a black oak. To me it looks like a like a veneer. Um, it's really smooth on top and on the side when it has like a texture to it. Really nicely finished. I must say. Uh, the dimensions, if you're wondering, the height is 12.6 inches. The width is 6.3 inches. The dimensions on the depth is uh, 6.3 inches. So it's pretty compact. Actually, you know, it's not big. It's not going to take up a lot of space, especially if you're planning on putting this underneath your desk or you have a small room where your sound bar is at, it's not going to take up too much room. Um, this does weigh about 8.2 pounds, so it's also, once again, not heavy. So you can definitely put this into a shelf somewhere hidden. Now, I did want to say uh, this does have built-in Bluetooth, and there are so many different ways that you can go ahead and connect this um, subwoofer up. You can go ahead and basically connect your phone to the Bluetooth, which works really good, it's pretty fast, and connect these to like a set of power bookshelf speakers. Um, like, I'm, like I'm actually gonna, that's the way I'm gonna end up using it um, and showing on the demo. Or you can go ahead and connect it, connect this directly to, let's say your TV through the optical cable, um, if you wanted to add a little bit more bass to your TV. Um, so it's, it's just it's a lot of flexibility with the way the ports and the interface they have on the back of the subwoofer. Uh, let me actually go ahead and show you guys the back of it. All right guys, now looking at the back side of the subwoofer, what you find is two knobs. You find two coaxial hookups, one for audio out, left and right, one for audio in and then an optical. Um, so both of these sources can be used as 
audio coming into the actual subwoofer. That one is the only one for audio out. Um, so fortunately, if you wanted to send audio to whatever external device you have, optical wise or anything like that, that is not possible. One thing I do want to note out is while right here, this one is the low pass filter um, knob. Now, the one thing I don't like about this knob is that it only shows writing for 60 hertz and 240 hertz, 250 hertz, my bad. But there's no little lines or anything I'm going up. Um, and there's really no clicking feedback. So like, you don't feel like you're clicking as you progress. Um, and it kind of sucks because it makes it kind of hard to fine tune when you want it to cross over. Um, like for example, you know that subwoofers, majority of people like to cross over their subs at 80 hertz, 120 hertz. And it would just have been cool if they would have added writing wherever 120 hertz and 80 hertz would have been. Uh, that's my one thing I don't like about it. Uh, there is a LED indicator and it's cool that they did etch in where it tells you what the indications mean. Um, so like when it's on red, it's on standby. And so that's where it's when it's off. Um, white is optical input. We have it on the optical end as the sound source. Blue is Bluetooth and orange is for audio in. So that's pretty cool. Now you might be asking, well, how do you cycle through? I didn't see a remote in the box. You're right, there's not one. This value knob right here that twists. Now this is a nice knob because it, as you twist, it does give you a clicky feel. So you do get a tactile feedback. So that's nice. But this also, if you click, it's a button that cycle through the modes. Um, so you basically press and hold and that will turn it off. Um, but if you press it and hold it, it'll turn back on. And then you just cycle through your inputs. Um, the Bluetooth, the way it pops up, it comes up as the actual name of the device itself. Um, so it's pretty easy how to connect it to the um, to your phone and just the way the back is designed it's, it's definitely just simple straight to the point and uh, yeah um, so let me go ahead and now and get this all plucked up and um, plug them up to my bookshelf speakers I'm let you guys hear what they sound like and I'm gonna go ahead and actually do some time myself and listen to them which I've already have been listening to this um, and then I'll wrap this video up and give you my opinion. Alright guys, so this is how I have a setup for the demo. I have the subwoofer hooked up to my Edifier R1280Ts power bookshelf speakers. Here's the subwoofer down here. I have it down here for right now. I'm going to also put it on the table and see how it sounds. But when you look at the side, just for you guys to know for reference, I do have everything set to flat. On the bookshelf speakers. Bookshelf speakers are set to max, volume max. The subwoofer itself is set to volume max also. Um, the light is blinking blue on the back because I do currently have my phone connected on Bluetooth. Um, and I will be able to control the volume of the sound coming to both the bookshelf speakers and the subwoofer by controlling my phone volume. Um, so basically so, yeah. I have my bookshelf speakers connected to its audio out. And this is how it's connected on the back of my edifiers. There you go. So let's see how this subwoofer sounds. <laughs>
that guys that basically wraps up the sound demo tell me what you think below could you hear the sub could you hear the difference with the sub playing with the bookshelf speakers and not playing with the bookshelf speakers i know i could it wasn't that big of a dramatic difference between it but you could hear the sub filling out the lows um, with that being said i know i use the edifier 1280t's you would think that it wouldn't be powerful uh, bookshelf speakers to outpower the sub but it kind of was that story i felt like these four little inch drivers on these bookshelf speakers kind of outpower this sub you know if you have these bookshelf speakers on your desktop setup and you wanted to add a sub i feel like the sub will work but it's not gonna add such an impact but if you have smaller satellite speakers on your desktop definitely the sub will work it, it sounds clean it adds bluetooth capability it's so versatile on how you can hook it up to things um that yeah it will make sense um if you have a soundbar and the soundbar didn't come with a sub this will make sense this is how you can get that sub to that soundbar especially if you like it um you know if you love your vizio 5.1 or 3.1 and the sub just for some reason quit on you i mean this would be a good option for you to keep that soundbar what i recommend it depends what you're looking for like i mentioned before if you're looking for a sub to add to your your um soundbar sure go for it so that basically wraps up my reviews if you guys have any questions go ahead and drop it down below i'll go ahead and give you guys an answer to the best of my abilities um and hit a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video um definitely if you want to see the review on my edifier 1280 t's go ahead and let me know all right guys drum jing out